back at Victoria Road this Saturday, and after Tuesday's heroics, just how important is it that we followed up with another strong performance? Yeah, look, um, any game that we play, but especially two home games, you want to try and back up, you get a good victory, it's important to try and get the next one. You, uh, you enjoy the victory when it comes on a Tuesday night, but... Um, by Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, I'm watching um, their game against Hartlepool on Tuesday as well. I'm sure they did the same to us. So, yeah, ready for another tough challenge, but um, back in front of our fans on a Saturday. Seems like that's been forever since we've been there on a Saturday in front of our fans. Um, hoping to kick on from, uh, which was a really good moment at the end of the game. Could have gone one way, very quickly went back into our, and the feeling we had at the end of the game, we've got to try and bottle that up, ready for the next match. After such an intense encounter, are there any fresh, in, fresh injury concerns? And on the opposite side, are there any people that are, that are returning? No, I think everyone's come through it really well. Um, I think within the game we made um, changes because, um, you know, City hasn't played loads and loads recently. Obviously had his loan, but we took him off near the end because obviously he was tiring a little bit, brought Jono back onto the pitch. Um, Charlo was bright first half, wasn't getting as much of the ball, so young Harvey come on and did a great job for us there. And then late in the game, um, Hesh just had a little bit of cramp, nothing serious. And um, they were throwing, especially last 10, 15 minutes of the game, lots of long aerial balls and the swirling wind. So um, that last minute getting Phipps on there with his aerial prowess is one of the best in the league at them headers. So getting him in on, on the thing there. So everyone's come through it really well. We've trained today. Everyone's been out there. Um, Hilly's really close as well to being back involved, whether we will be involved at the weekend or not. It's a decision for us over the next sort of 24, 40 hours. It might come a little bit too early, but um, we'll certainly look at that. Um, yeah, apart from that, everyone's come through the game really well. Kidderminster have injured a good run of form since, since Phil Brown's appointment. What can we expect from them? Yeah, look, tough test. Um, early in the, earlier in the season when we went there, we looked at their um, results and the analysis of how they've been doing. And every game they lost, they'd lost by the odd goal. So I don't think there was a lot um, wrong. It just wasn't going in their favour. They was losing by the odd goal in all their matches they was playing. Um, so I feel like obviously Russell Penn could probably be really unfortunate losing his job because of that. But we all know as managers a results-based business. Um, and then Phil Brown's come in, they got off to a shaky start against Aldershot going 2 0 down really early, showed great character to come back and uh, win the game 4 um, 2 in uh, his first home game in charge. And then midweek, like I'm saying, I watched them away at Hartlepool, and um, that was tricky conditions for both teams that game. That was, um, we were really windy at our game, but the wind and the rain going one way on that match made it sort of two different halves of football. Um, but getting that um, three points that they got there, you know, they'll obviously be buzzing from it as well, coming with full confidence to us on Saturday. So we've got to be. Um, the way we have been, really humble, really um, respectful of the opposition that we play, um, focus on what we can do. Um, and we did a lot of good things the other day, I controlled the match for probably 70, 75 minutes of it. Um, I know Dawkins had a little bit of possession in both halves, but not really causing us too many problems. And I have full respect for their manager and the way they do things. You know, they've got some real good players, but we felt in quite control until the last 10, 15 minutes. Um, one, I felt that was us turning the ball over too easily and two, credit to them, you know, they went a little bit more direct and really was going to try and get an equaliser. So it's not always us as the opposition as well. Um, but the feeling we had coming out of that game, leading into probably the feeling that Kidderminster have had for their two victories is both teams will never try and get three points on Saturday. So if we can, um, if we can get three points and back up like we, what we did in midweek, um, I know we want our home form to be better, but that would be, you know, the two wins following up from beating Eastley. Um, so they will be in a better momentum at home and that's what we're trying to build upon and trying to get us up this league. Home form is going to be key to that. So uh, Saturday is another big game for all of us at the football club.